Brittany here with My Life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. Sometimes with a random vlog thrown in. And I do all of this with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I have going on right here. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place The Magic Eyeshadow Palette for today's look. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, so if you guys want to see how I create this look using the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I'm going to start off first with the eyes. For eye primer today, I'm going to be using something different other than concealer. Oh wow, shocking. I know, something different. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I need something to cancel out the darkness on my eyelids, so I'm just going to go in with concealer. And then I'm going to set that down with the shade Kessie. Now I'm going to take the shade Nana and apply that all inside my crease and really blow it out as a transition shade. Next I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a precise tip blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade Zakia and apply that even more tightly into my crease and take it all the way from outer corner to inner corner. But I'm not gonna blow it out as much as I did the shade Nana. Now I'm taking a more tighter tapered blending brush and I'm going to take that into the shade Ife, or I, it's I-F-E, Ife, Ife, and apply that in my crease as well but a lot more tighter and I'm going to blow it out as much and I'm going to try and create a bit of a halo look. Now I'm going to take the shade GGD with the same brush and just apply it in the same spot where I put that first color. I want a bit more of that transition shade that I first put on to show through, so I'm going to take some more of that shade Zakia and just reapply. Now taking that small tapered blending brush again, I'm not going to go into any extra product. I'm just going to take that over the halo and just try and blend in those edges. Now I'm just going to use some concealer to cut out the halo in the center of my eyelid. Now when you've got the concealer as even as you can possibly get it, that's not even that's not even anywhere close to being the same, but that's okay. I will fix it up with eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm going to go now in with a packing brush and take the shade Aja and apply that all over my lid. Now into the center of that, I'm going to take the shade Buzo. And right in the center of that, I'm going to take the shade Yara. So it's not quite showing up how I'd like it to, so I'm going to take the shade Yamoja and apply that in the center of my lid. Let's just, let's just keep going while we're at it. Let's just keep going. I still want some of that green to show through, so I'm going to reapply the shade Buzo on the outer perimeter of the halo. Now I'm going to go in with a really tight precision brush and I'm going to go back into the shade Ife and deepen out those outer corners again. Now because I feel like I want the center of my lids to pop just that little bit more, I'm going to go into the shade Nubia and apply that right smack dab in the center of that halo. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up under the eyes, do the rest of my face off camera, and then I'll be right back and we'll finish off the eyes. Okay, I'm back. I didn't do anything too crazy special on the face, just foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, and I filled in my eyebrows a little bit because they're looking a little bit... Mm, you fill in the blank there. So I'm going to go on and finish off the eyes. I... I don't know what I'm doing. I want a gold liner. Hang on, let's see what I've got. 
Okay, I don't have a gold liner, but I have a deep navy blue ColourPop gel eyeliner, and this one's in the shade DTLA. And so yeah, I'm just gonna pop that in the waterline. I've got a green one too. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the blue eyeliner in the outer corner of my eye, of my waterline, and then on the inner corner of the waterline, I'm gonna pop this forest green ColourPop gel eyeliner in the shade Fast Lane. Okay, I need some brightness under my brow, so I'm going to take some of that shade Kessie and brighten up the underbrow. That's such a nice brow highlight. I actually want a little bit more brightness under the eyes. Like, it's not showing up on camera, but um, the setting powder that I use to set my concealer, it sets the concealer really, really nicely, but it sort of just cancelled out any of the brightness that the concealer gave me anyway. It's the LA Girl Pro Powder, and it's a really nice, fine powder, but it doesn't do me any good with brightening the under eyes, especially when I had a lighter concealer under there to brighten anyway. Does that make any sense? So I'm going to take some of this shade Kessie and see that, if that does any good with brightening the under eyes, since it's such a nice under brow highlight as well. I just want a little bit in this area where I have a little bit of extra bags today because didn't get any sleep last night. Uh, but yeah, I'm just seeing if that brightens up a little bit. That's actually really nice. I like that. Now the light is really, my ring light is really bright in my face. So in the camera, I look a little bit crazy, but it'll look better once I have the under eyes finished. Okay, to finish off under the eyes, first I'm going to go into the shade Eugenie. I'm going to take some of that and blow that out under the lower lash line. I'm not going to take it too close into my corner so that it doesn't close up the eyes. I'm going to keep that corner nice and bright. And underneath that, I'm going to take the shade Ife and apply it in the same spot, just a little bit lower. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. And below that, I'm going to take some of the shade Aja and apply that in the same spot, again, just a little bit lower. Right, okay, now to brighten up the inner corner, I'm gonna take some of the shade Kessie and apply that right in the inner corner there. Don't stick your brush in your eye, it kinda hurts. And with a more finer precision tipped brush, I'm going to go into the shade Nubia and apply that right on the inner tear duct. I'm going to redefine some of that on the center of my eyelid. Okay, all this look needs is liner and mascara and lashes, possibly, if I can find any, and I'll be right back. And boom, I have these lashes on. Um, they're not my favorite ones. They're probably too big and too fluffy. Like, can't even see my eyeshadow look at this point but these are the only ones I have so these will have to do I'm actually liking how this eye look turned out to finish off the look I'm going to go in with lips I'm going to go in with the Ofra Cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Miami Fever because it does have that little bit of an orangey tinge to it that I did apply in the transition I'm going to quickly set my face and while my face is still damp for highlight, I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Boozy Brunch. That's some highlight right there. It wouldn't be a proper Juvia's Place makeup tutorial with it without a whole heap of highlight. <laughs> okay, now that my lipstick has dried, I want to apply a little bit of this shade Nubia right in the center of my lips. Thought I'd better get a bit of bling on for my channel. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. This is the look that I came up with using the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I ended up adding that tiny little bit of pop of that shimmery purple color under my lower lash line, and I absolutely love that. It is so pretty. Oh, and I love these lips. Mm, I'm 
filling myself girl filling myself yeah no it's really pretty I absolutely love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe before you leave because I do upload videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and be sure to ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of those videos thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for your time for being here for supporting me I love you all thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye Hey. Yes, boo. What? I love you. <laughs> it's really hot in here, so I don't have any pants on. <laughs> ah. No wonder the color looked wrong before. I didn't have the settings right. Damn it.